article in the Journal of Behavioral and Brain Science found that Republicans and Democrats disagree, not just because they have different opinions and different points of view, but because they're different on a psychological and even genetic level. This calls into question everything we thought we knew about politics. The idea that we somehow get our beliefs at childhood and we learn as we become adults and we choose our political opinions based on our interests and environmental and economic factors. And even the idea that we can change at all. The research found that Republicans have a negativity bias. The researchers used things like eye trackers to track the emotional and involuntary response of political people to different stimuli and found that Republicans respond much faster and much more strongly to disgusting, threatening or negative stimuli, like pictures of a spider on the face of a frightened person, a picture of a bloody face or a picture of a wound with maggots in it. This makes sense as the Republican ideology is based on pillars like strong military, tough law enforcement, a resistance to immigration, and guns for everyone. And if you think about it, an underlying biology of fear and negativity would make perfect sense for those sort of policies. Republican psychology is based on a need for certainty and an intolerance for ambiguity. A negativity bias would have been biologically useful in the Pleistocene era, which ended about 12,000 years ago. The relevance of Republicans in today's day and age has yet to be determined by science. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.